Before you come and watch this code demo, I would request that you please take a look at the theoretical explanation behind this particular piece of code because then only you're going to have a clear understanding of how this particular code executes and works. So what I'm doing in this particular demonstration is I'm going to show you different ways of initializing an array of characters also known as a string in C programming language. So suppose I define an array of characters name one. I don't mention the size. So if I decide to initialize character by character like this G, E, U, then it is the responsibility of the programmer, in this case me, to see that I give the null character at the end. Now the size of this particular array is automatically going to be determined based on the number of characters I initialize. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the length of this particular array is going to be 4 characters. So when I print name 1, you're going to get GEU as the output. Now what I'm doing is I'm showing you another way of initializing. I'm initializing an character array name 2, but here I'm giving it the size 5. So what is going to happen is I'm initializing it G, E, U, and as usual, me having to put the null character at the end. So what is happening here is here, although I have given only four characters, the size is given by me as five. So the length or the number of characters in this particular array of characters is going to be five because I have explicitly specified. Here it determines based on the number of characters I am initializing. Here I have already told there will be so many characters. Then next what I am doing is I am showing you one more way of initializing an array of characters. Here since I have put it in double quotes, the compiler automatically adds the null character after u. So if you are initializing an array of characters using double quotes, you do not have to worry about the null character. The compiler will automatically put it for you. Here again the length is going to be 4 because 3 characters and the null character. So total it's as good as saying name 3 of 4. Next what I have done here is I have initialized name 4 with width 5. The reason I have said it's going to have 5 characters is this is 1, 2, 3, space is 4 and there is one place required for the null character that is this character whose ASCII value happens to be 0. It is not the number 0, it's ASCII value 0 that is added at the after the space character that is appended. Since I am initializing by double quotes, I do not need to worry about adding the null character. Now I have shown you one more way here, but this is a problem. I have defined the length of number of characters in this array name phi as 5, but I have already 5 characters which I have given here. That means I have created a problem for myself. I have not given it any place to put the null character. So there is no place to put the null character. So when you print this, there is a good chance you will get some garbage after the P. So let us see when we execute this particular thing. So this is not a good way of initializing. It would have been good if I had given name phi of 6 instead of just 5 because I have not given it any space for putting the null character. Now here what I am doing is quite different. GEHU is a string or an array of characters. Let us say G starts at memory address 1000. So this fellow PTR is going to contain the address value 1000. He is not going to contain G, E, H or U. He is going to contain the address of G assuming this array of characters or string starts or resides at memory location 1000 in the main memory. Now I have shown you one more way. I have shown you now character PTR 1 of 20. This I have given it as GEHU. The difference between this and this you will know when we do on later on is when I declare GEHU with using the star PTR, I can't change G, E, H or U. If I try to do it, I'm going to get a compile time error. Here, since it's an array of characters, I can change any of these 
जी ई एच और यू पी टी आर वन रेफर्स टू द स्टार्टिंग एड्रेस ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर एरे सो इट इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू कंटेन द एड्रेस ऑफ जी बट दिस एड्रेस एंड दिस एड्रेस आर डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू बी डिफरेंट बिकॉज दे रिसाइड इन टू डिफरेंट मेमरी लोकेशन दिस इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट स्ट्रिंग और लिटरल एज दिस एट यू कॉन्ट मॉडिफाई दिस फलो दिस फलो कैन बी मॉडिफाइड लेट्स टेक दिस पीस ऑफ कोड लेट्स ट्राई टू कॉपी इट एंड लेट्स ट्राई टू रन इट थ्रू द ऑनलाइन जी डी बी कंपाइलर एंड सी वॉट हैपन्स ओके सो हियर यू कैन सी द फर्स्ट वन नो प्रॉब्लम सेकेंड वन नो प्रॉब्लम third one also name 3 no problem fourth one geu no problem but fifth as i had told you it's going to give problem because i did not give any space for the null character because i failed to give space for the null character the behavior is going to be undefined that's why you saw some garbage being printed after gehu d now if you see this one it is printing gehu similarly this is also printing gehu so what happens to this printf is it says the conversion specifier is percentage yes but if you look at the prototype of printf it expects an address since ptr is an address it passes on the address of g and starting from the address of g gehu is printed till the null character is encountered here why printf failed is printf did not find the null character even after d that is why it started printing garbage till it encountered a null character somewhere magically internally now this one what i am doing is ptr1 is an array but i told you ptr1 refers to a constant address or a fixed address in memory so ptr1 is also a constant pointer so i am sending a constant pointer to printf and it is printing g e h and u 